Tropical Storm Fan Phone is slowly intensifying today. It currently has winds of 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,000 millibars, according to latest satellite estimates. It's currently at 10.1 north, 132.7 east, at 11 a.m. Philippine time this December 23rd. We're looking at a landfall maybe in Tacloban now on Christmas Eve. The CDPS scale is looking at that location now. Stage 4 on the scale. The rainfall potential is still the highest parameter, but it could be a typhoon when it gets there, delivering over 120 km per hour winds. Here is the current storm wind field, fairly small actually, but the northwestern side is the largest at 95 nautical miles. Uh, and again, the position there, 10.1 degrees north. 452 miles from Bislig, 489 from Surigao, 527 from Tacloban, 599 from Cebu, and 847 from the capital, Manila. The storm drawing closer and will probably be fairly fast moving. Here is the current uh, summary of warnings from Pegasa. Signal 1 warnings in effect for Eastern Samar and those islands to its south on the northern part of Mindanao. Looking at the storm's influence, you can see where it powers through all of those islands uh, during Christmas Eve into Christmas Day further west and then out over the open waters there um, where it will gradually weaken and dissipate eventually as it edges towards Vietnam. Still indicating that the storm will stall in the South China Sea but it could also reach its peak intensity there as well. That's what the JTWC are currently forecasting with wind speeds of 80 miles per hour. That's just over 120 kilometers per hour as a peak intensity. Looking at sea surface temperatures, these are in Fahrenheit because we've not got the Celsius on here just yet, but you can see there into the lower 80s, which is around 26, 27, 28 in some areas in Celsius. Definitely warm enough for sustained development. Here's a look at the storm's progression then in the next few days. That wind field uh, particularly increasing on the northern side. The yellows there coming into play. That's typhoon conditions mainly on the northern side of the storm. Um, and then there it is intensifying a little bit more in the South China Sea uh, before gradually uh, slowing down and really weakening there as we enter those later days. Uh, as the storm moves further away from the Philippines. So um, we're looking at a typhoon landfall possibly a more than one. Uh, we don't have the usual models today at the moment, but we have the RAL models. This is the GFS Ensemble, uh, and you can see there it's a pretty uh, decent forecast for a landfall anywhere from central Samar to the northern tip of Mindanao. And this is the intensities. Uh, most of the models have really uh, settled in there to Tropical Storm or Category 1 status. Uh, the more aggressive model runs going with the higher of that and possibly even into Category 2 range. And here's the latest satellite imagery of Fanfone. Uh, still, most of the convection is displaced on the northern and western sides of the center, which is almost to the point of being partially exposed, not quite. Um, so. I think we'll continue to see some slow intensification as it approaches the Philippines, but we know what storms are like in this part of the world. We could see some rapid intensification beginning at any time, and that's why we can't rule out a typhoon landfall for Leyte and Samar and onwards as it reaches those areas on the evening of Christmas Eve. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.